Alright, so good morning. Welcome to uh, at the uh, sunrise service. It's so good to see all of us awake. I'm alive, alert, awake. To see us think and serving the Lord. Amen. Amen. Um, we'll sing, I just came to praise the Lord. Okay. So we're here not just to enjoy the beauty of God's creation, but also to serve Him and worship Him. And this is Saturday, Sunday, so that's why we're here to sing songs of praise to Him. Uh, let's sing, I just came to praise the Lord. If you have your phones with you, you can open them and search for, I just came to praise the Lord.
intercessory prayer in behalf of Lot. Lot is the cousin of Abraham and uh, he is pleading God, Lot, uh, Abraham is pleading God that he will save the family of Lot in the judgment of Sodom and Gomorrah. I think you you are aware what is, what, what is the sin of Sodom and Gomorrah, you know? Uh, and that is abomination and that is wickedness in the sight of God and uh, Abraham made a prayer of intercession which is the most important prayer in the life of every believers even today you know I want you to know that <clears throat> there will be a coming judgment of our you know of this world uh, sabi nga my mind Uh, the, year, the, the year end is near to come because of what is happening to our world now. It is becoming like, you know, Sodom and Gomorrah. But uh, thank God that we are here to, to pray for the sake of, well, you know, of uh, the lost of these people who are been involved in those things of Sodom and so, We call it Sodomite, Sodom, yeah, Sodomy, <laughs> the sin of Sodomy. I think you know what it's that, no? It's Sodomy. Uh, wala tayong masagasaan dito, wala, tayong, wala dito lada, no? Di ba? May lada dito, wala, no? May, may tumbuyes mo dito. Tumbuyes mo yun? Ang tawag? Ibo. Ibo. <laughs> okay? Uh, sa Pilipinas, medyo uso yung, grabe yung isyo ng Sugibel. Huh? Uh, sa, uh, tawag ng ibang tao doon, doon sa atin uh, Asugibin Asugibin si uh, I guess uh, you know, uh, 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 Light up Taga, taga post wire Asugibin tawag na So maybe if That uh, Asugibin will be approved Because of the senators Who are promoting That bill You know And you know who is the senator Anyway, praise God that so many people now, uh, even the world, are against to that, the, to that bill. Even in the, in, in the States, you know, a lot of... Uh, uh, para malaki na yung ulo ng mga, mga bakla eh. Bakla ba yan? Bakla ah. Eh, in Sodom and Gomorrah, that is the wickedness and the sin why God judged this people. That's why Abraham uh, made an intercessory prayer. Lord, please don't judge them. Please don't train a fire from them. Okay? So, I will just read to you the passage which which uh, uh, the 
prayer of Abraham that start in verse 22 uh, verse 22 to 33 but I will just read a passage which is uh, balik-balik man ang pag-ihabal pag, uh, sa kada verse from verse 22 to 33 <coughs> this is a prayer of, of Abraham and men turned their faces from thence and went toward Sodom and Gomorrah. But Abraham stood. This is this is my the topic or the, the focus of the message. But Abraham stood yet before the Lord. Meaning he made an intercessory prayer. Intercessory means you are praying in behalf of others. Intercessory. You are prayer praying for the sake of others. That is intercessory. Meaning you are you are standing between that person to, to another person. You are in the midst of that person in intercessory. You are putting yourself in behalf of the person. Now, Abraham put himself in this in this position that he is going to pray in behalf of his cousin Lot and his family. Uh, verse 23. And Abraham drew near and said, Wilt thou also destroy the righteous? Good. Uh, the righteous with the wicked? Perabijor, uh, there will be 50. This is now the, the prayer of, of Abraham. Lord, if there is 50 righteous in the midst of the wicked, will you destroy them? And God said, and God said, Perabijor, there are 50, will thou also destroy? And not spare place? God said, I will not destroy. Okay, God will not destroy. The Lord said, if I find Sodom, 50 righteous, verse 26. If I find Sodom, 50 righteous within the city, then I will spare all, all the place for your, for that sake, for the sake of 50 person. The town shall from 50 to 40, 45, 45, 40, uh, 30, uh, the rabbi Jordan shall be 25. Oh, really? No? And he said, I will not destroy. I will not destroy it for the sake of 20. You see? Grabbing up pleading Abraham for the sake. Oh, uh, that is intercessory. That's why I will challenge you, tent makers, you, you, uh, give value to your prayer and the most important prayer content of your prayer is the intercessory prayer why because you are praying for the sake in behalf of your family who are those who are not Christian amen that is an intercessory prayer there are many families today that there is only one uh, member of the family of, of your family maybe of your family, of my family, that he is a Christian, just only one member. And because of his prayer, which is intercessory prayer, the whole family became Christian because of the prayer, you see? So you cannot, do not say anything, do not speak anything, just only to pray. I'm only starting a church. I told the the one convert in that one family, every time he pray, I teach him. Because he said, Pastor, my, my, my mom and dad, my brothers and sisters, they're not Christians. I'm the only Christians to my family, you know? Uh, and he said, they are, they are hindering me to, to attend, to, you know, to exercise my faith. Okay, I, I, I teach him what to do. You pray for an intercessory prayer. What is that, Pastor? You pray for them. So when a person pray, he pray silently and he bow his head, you know, and pray and say, Oh Lord, please touch my dad and my mom, my brother and sisters, you know. That is his prayer. Uh, Pastor, nothing happened. So this is what we will do again. Every time you pray, you pray loud. You alone, you pray loud. Okay. And he said, every every night he prayed, Lord, please don't send my father and my mother to hell. 
and he spotted a fleshy thing for him every day. <laughs> what is your prayer? You want? <laughs> and that's why that is an interesting prayer. Okay, but anyway, I'm just I'm just teaching, you know, a little crazy to those people I'm ministering. But anyway, that is some of my experiences in the ministry. But I want you to know that the prayer of a righteous man avails it not. But this is what happened. Because of the 20, it goes down to 10, it goes down to, uh, and uh, here the last, the last number here is, Oh, let the Lord tell, don't be angry, God. Abraham said, verse 32, Oh, he said, Oh, let not the Lord be angry. I will speak yet but once. Lord. Please, Lord, in this prayer, Perhavinjor, perhaps, Perhavinjor in the Old Testament, in the King James Version, then shall be found there, and he said, I will not destroy. It goes down from 50 to 10, and God said, I will not destroy. But, but I know I, Abraham knows that there are only three people there. Okay, how many people save in Sodom and Gomorrah? The Bible says there are only three people, or four people. Pero wasi pang isa. Na, na, ano pa na isa na, na, ang gina. Wala, na, ang gina. Hindi pa naka, nakalampas ba? No? Are you all, ang tawag niya sa Bible. Are you all, ang tawag niya sa inyo. This is why, okay. The Lord, and the Lord reigned. Okay, what is the, the judgment of uh, God to Sodom and Gomorrah? It is a rain of fire, meaning God judge. You know, one day, our world, this, this world, in the Bible, in 1 Peter, the Bible says that God will judge the world with fire. And God will create a new heaven and a new earth, you see? So meaning to say nothing, wala kasing dapat ipagmalagi dito, tandaan nyo yan. Voila. That's why we need to be to give ourselves to God. Don't worry. Kahit mo wala ninyo hat sa sa buhay mo, hindi lang siya. Hmm, di ba? Kahit mo wala ninyo lahat sa buhay mo, hindi lang siya kasama mo siya. No, di ba? Pero may problema kasi rin ang pagkasama, no? Di ba? Eh, yung sao, hindi ba yung awit niya? Pagkat kasama kita. <laughs> Just there. You know what the Bible says here, you know? And the Lord, <clears throat> then the Lord rained upon Sodom and upon Gomorrah, brimstone and fire from the Lord out of heaven. You see, it is not difficult for God to judge you and me. Do not, do not play game with God. To God be the glory. Amen. Good night. Good night. Tayo magkano? Laruan mo lang ang kan. Ang isang lichon, hindi na ito. You see, and God, sini nga, uh, overthrow those cities and all plains and all inhabitants of the cities and that which grow upon the ground. But, okay, but his wife, the wife of, Miss, of Mr. Lot, but his wife looked back from behind him. The wife of Mr. Lot looked back the, the instruction to them, when you go out from Sodom and Gomorrah, from the city, don't, don't look back. But the wife, there are four of them, Lot, the two daughters, and the wife, uh, went out from Sodom and Gomorrah. While God reigned the, the, the city, you know, the wife looked back and he became, and she became a pillar of salt. And even until today, you know, kung God, if God will give me a chance to go to, to Israel, I want to see the the, the soul, the statue of Mrs. Slack. Hmm, sana, sana makawis na ako, sabi ko pa hindi, what? Siyan siyan na ito ah, may, may nag-offer sa amin yung, yung pwede mag ano, tour, sabi ko yan. That is, that is in my, my desire to, if I cannot go to many places, we can go to that place. Why? Those are the, the cities from the Old Testament. Those are the history of the world from, you know, 
he, that God deals with people, even the, the chosen people, Israel. Okay, now, what happened? Why she became a pillar of soul? Because Mrs. Lot is concerned about, not for others, but for herself. So that is the importance of her. Anyway, most of us are just very concerned of many things, okay? Of material things, of physical things, of you know, many things of the world, you know. And we are very conscious about all those things. Sino bang hindi gusto na may palagi may palagi kang bago, 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 bago pala, purong bago, ah bago. Kasi material things lang. Hindi lang pwede, hindi lang pwede yung bagong boyfriend, bagong girlfriend, pero palaging bago. Bago lang. Bago naman ang ano, na nag-give up. You know, this, yung si Mrs. Slot is a symbol of materialistic person. Mrs. Slot. Okay, you know, kung sa ilong ko pa, pag rin nag-amak ng isang sudo man kumura. Ang tagadlagan sila guru ko ba? Isa rin siyang iya itong mga kani, mga alipuri siya itong may mga kuntong ang kuntong ni San Jintra. O ni San Jintra? O ni San Jintra? Mga kuntong ang kalibri ko ito. Ang nabuk lang ito ba? Ang ba? Ang buko ang refrigerator ko ito. Automatic ko ito na ang refrigerator ko. Ang left ko. Okay? May may washing machine ko ito ko. Hindi siya ka tumbalik kit siya siya tumuloy ko ba? And she became a pillar of salt. That is a symbol. That no one who are very conscious of those earthly things niya madala mo you will lose it. And now my question to our application now. What is the missionaries, uh, what is now our prayer? Are we, are our prayer focus on others or on ourselves? Only. Amen? It's a question now. Our prayer focus only on ourselves or for the sake of others? That is the most important focus of prayer. That is the most important uh, value or things in prayer. The, the content of our prayer. And you know what? Ang prayer natin all, all the time, sometimes, the Lord, palagi lang sa tayo, Lord, wala. Sarili lang natin lahat. Amen? Ah, sarili lang natin, no? Oh. Eh, Lord, wala. Lord, wala. Always ourselves. I want you to, cha I want to challenge you. Pray also in behalf of others. Sometimes, si, si Madam, <clears throat> I've been in the ministry for long, many years now. Long, many years, huh? Not only short years, but long, many years. <clears throat> Sabi ni Madam, ikaw, you are always in your mind others. You are always thinking of others. You are always praying for others. And you are not thinking of yourself. I'm going to say this in the Bible, if you want to deny yourself for God's sake, one day God will exalt you. Amen? If you deny yourself for others, one day in heaven, God will exalt you. Hey, sabi nga, for long years of ministering, sometimes we can see no fruit. No fruit of our labor. And we are always praying for them, for those, for those work that we are doing. But one day, no? Sabi nga, may mga work tayo na walang walang resulta ba? But it takes years that you can see a result, you know. I minister those people, you know, in the, during our ministry, as we start, when we start the ministry in Mindanao, we start from zero. No, we don't know anyone there. We just came there and to be a missionary. And to church, uh, if, if 
to do to, to plant the church again. And there is one person, you know what? Uh, one person that uh, you know I minister, and he is the, the, the father of uh, Gillian. In a way, his father during the time we cannot afford to buy fish, we cannot afford to buy rice. Why? Because of our allowance is very okay. And he thought, you know, and we minister these people, minister these people. I'm I'm doing ministering for others. And the content of our prayer is that they might be saved. Remember this: the most important content of the prayer is not always for our sake, for for our personal, and all of. Of our of the content of our work is for us only. Stop it. That is, ano na siya? Kung sa ilong ko ba dinalo ko naman sa sa Tagalog? Is is DD. Kung sa English ay yung selfishness, kapot lang, di ba? And if you are always praying, a praying prayer always for yourself, the content is for yourself. You know, even even in giving, you know, in offering. For the sake of ministry, even in giving, when you get your wallet, uh, because you are always praying for yourself, every time there is an offering, I will just get it there a little bit. Magkaw ka ng pera mo sa akong to, sa akong to, sa akong to ang gawa niya. Ang iyong fearing mo, 20 baht na lang. Yeah. Why? Why? Because you are always praying, although a person who is praying for others are givers. You know, Abraham, he gave himself for the sake of his cousin. And you know, God bless Abraham, to God be the glory. God bless Abraham. <clears throat> you know what, the, uh, I'll just get it uh, with the church. Lang ito. But anyway, you know, this is the prayer, our prayer. Uh, number one, a prayer to the lost. Number two, a prayer for the lost. And number three, a prayer of the lost. You know what? In those three questions, in the three points that I, that I mentioned, the, a prayer to the lost. What is our prayer to the lost? And Romans chapter 10 verse 1. Sini nga. Okay. Talas na lang itong verse ha. Anyway, damo mo. Ang mga tayo nagpumati pa. Huwag mo sa akin titi. Talas na. Ang mga tayo nga. Ang taong sila. Talas na. Anyway. Ang mga nga sinigil sa church na ito. Ay mga tayo nga lang tayo eh. But anyway, this is the question one. This is the prayer. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God that they might be saved again and again Romans chapter 10 verse 1 brethren I my heart's desire and prayer to God that they might be saved intercessory prayer what is that prayer a prayer for a prayer to the lost the answer is that they might be saved that is a prayer number two a prayer for the lost and, and the answer is that they might be saved. Amen? And number three, a prayer of the lost. Amin nyo ko na, no? That they might be saved. Di nakita na. Do you remember the story of the rich man and Lazaro? Okay? May ati tali sa field of me. I will just go. Luke chapter 15. Luke chapter 16. The Bible says, when Lazaro is in, in paradise, in the, you know, with Abraham, and the rich man in hell, you know, the rich man said, Father Abraham, this is the prayer to the lost, of the lost, okay? The prayer of the lost, which is the rich man in hell, what is his prayer? Lord, Father Abraham, I have five brothers there in my family. I have five brethren there. My prayer to you, Father Abraham, that they might be saved. That they will not go to the place where I am now. To God be the glory. Amen? Don't wait. That, 
of that prayer that you pray for your for your dad and mom and your family and your family members don't wait to pray for for them that they might be saved in hell that is late you right amen pwede ka lang maglate sa iyong trabaho bilang sa decision mo don't delay to pray huh, for the lost for them nara ka na sa tra na sa impyerno ka na but anyway this is the answer the most important prayer is that you pray for the sake of others that they might say the same amen? Amen, amen okay to God be the glory everybody stand up please may God be the glory this is actually our morning worship service and we are doing this Uh, at the time that we are doing our vow or your activities but this time this is now our prayer I want to I want you to hold your hands together and uh, holding your hands together I want to present to you I want to present to you our our candidates and uh, we will include them in our prayer uh, of you who are not yet established a relationship with God right now do it that is a relationship if you receive it as your personal person if there is anyone here now this is the time for you to pray ask God tell him God I need you I want to be saved I want to receive you Lord God, we are coming to your grace this morning, early morning, knowing that you are God who is looking in every point of our life, nothing behind from you, because you are powerful, sovereign God of our life. You even see our moody and even more our decision and belief. Lord, you see the hearts of these five candidates for baptism. Lord, I ask that their commitments 
to stand firm in their journey of service to you. I ask, Lord, that you give them the courage to stand for you, God, and for your side alone. Not to men, but for you alone. God, I pray that you will bless as we do the baptism after the service. And Lord, thank you that we are here, O Lord. Lord, that the content of our prayers is for others and many others. They will know the Lord Jesus Christ. God, thank you that this ministry of winning the Lord is in our heart now because you said this is our prayer and our desire that they God thank you that these five people commit themselves to you without hesitation because they know whom they believe and they are now persuaded stand firm to show to the world that they are your servants as I ask everything to you, Father, in Jesus' name, Amen.